this next project, I did it first on one of the shows from my mom's show, Aline's Creative Living. It was back in the 80s, and you know, it's always been one of my favorite projects, and I really haven't shown it very often. It's a little doll, and she's made from a Q-tip, or cotton swab. So let me show you what I did. You just need a few different um, items for this project, and it's lots of fun. You're going to need Q-tips. You're going to need some cereal cardboard for your patterns, fabric, and toothpicks, a wire. This one is a 24-gauge wire, and I picked the white, so it'll be. These are going to be for her little hands. Just different kinds of yarns for her hair. And I also have a piece of styrofoam that I've stuck my little uh, heads in to be painted and dry. And you're going to need some Aline's Tacky Glue, some wire cutters, and a needle and thread. Super, super simple. It's just that you're going to be working in miniature. So let me show you what I did. First thing I did with my, I made my pattern, and this is one and five eighths by five inches. This is for her skirt. And I cut a piece, I put it down on the fabric, sketched it uh, the outside with a pencil, and then cut it out. Then with a needle and thread, I stitched very t as tiny as I could because I found that my gathering lines were a lot more effective if they were tiny. Then I put some glue along the bottom edge and created a hem. And that's what I did with this one. Oops. So that's ready for her skirt. Then for her blouse, again, the same thing. We ha I made a little uh, pattern. I sketched it out. And then I glued the edges and then you cut a slit up halfway. So we have her little blouse. So her clothes are all ready to go. Let me show you how to prepare her head. You take your Q-tip and just cut it right in half. And then I put a little bit of glue dip my finger in the glue and then just roll the q-tip right in the glue. This is going to make her face and it's going to make it where you can paint it. Just make sure you get it completely covered and that it's smooth enough for a face. And then I put it into my little styrofoam and let it dry. Then when it's all dry I paint it completely with uh, just a flesh color paint and then we're gonna do a couple little dots for the eyes little mouth so let's see if I can do this little tiny upside down. <laughs> okay, so we have one little dot and another little dot. And there you have her eyes. And then just take and a little mouth. And then you can also put little cheeks on her. And put her down to dry. Actually, I'm going to put her over here in the styrofoam to dry. So I have one that's ready. And I also take for her base, for the base to hold the, the um, little head and neck up, you're going to take a circle, and I think it's about seven-eighths of an inch of a circle, put the needle through it, and then take a toothpick and put through it, and then that little Q-tip glues right down in there right through the whole 
it glues. And that's what I've done right here. She's glued right into the cereal box base. Now let's get some arms on her and just take up the wire, maybe three inches of the wire, and just wrap it close to the top. And I trim it later when I get her all dressed. Next thing we need is a little bit of cotton. We're going to glue it up for at the top of her dress. And we are ready to dress her. So I'm going to take the piece that I prepared earlier for her, her top. We have the slit down. I'm going to put it over her arms. And I'm going to put some glue. Put that down in the glue. A little bit more. And then we're going to glue the front of it with a little bit of glue to the back. Like so. That's her little top to her dress. That's her blouse. Next we're going to take the piece that we put the gathering stitch in. It already has the hem and we're going to just pull that gathering stitch. And we're going to put some glue around the, just around her waist. And this is what's going to help hold her skirt. But we're going to put it upside down. kind of help hold it. And, oops, some glue. We're going to tie, take that extra thread and just tie it really tight. Oops, those arms push them up a little bit if they get in the way. Tie it really tight and then like a knot. So, whoops. And you let it dry there for a little bit. I'm going to bring it down right now, but I usually let it dry so that glue dries. I clip off any of the excess thread. Oops. And you can see our little doll is starting to take shape. Now you would take her arms, the wire arms, and cut just a little tiny bit off. You maybe want, oh, a little bit less than a half inch. And kind of bring it around. And I'm going to put a little bit of hair on her. And like I said, you can use yarn. You can just take a piece of yarn and I just kind of shred it a little bit and put it down in that glue. She has her hair. She's got kind of a wild hairdo. So if, if it's not cooperating with you, then just put a little bit more glue. And then the final thing, when everything's dry, is you can take her little wire and you can bend them over into little hands. Then you can have her hands holding something. You can put like a little tiny, make a little basket for her. Oops. Oops. 
Oops. <laughs> and we have little hands there. And during that, lost some of her hair. And there you have your little cutie. And I want to show you the ones. This one, when I went to put the, the um, when I stitched the actual dress, I put a little piece for an apron. And then, of course, you can always go with a little bride. And I just put some small flowers in her hands, and then I put a veil on her head. And make a cute little favor. And then this one, again, just a plain little pink dress. And I chose little patterns on my fabric so that uh, they didn't look like they were out of proportion. I chose the patterns that were like little dots or just little flowers. It's that easy. Aren't they cute? I just love these. You know, think of all the different things you could do with them. Package top, favors. There's so many uses for them. They're so cute. I love them.